so you guys i'm on my facebook page and i see this photo over here let me point to it not the second one but the last one which is d ray davis right and i'm like okay you know cool whatever so i go on it i click on it like this and i look at the comment section right and of course somebody says he looked like d-ray but then i go down right i scroll down right here and i'm reading this comment in particular victoria a hilton and she's talking about what happened to him which just made me it just sparked my interest so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna go and watch the video that she's talking about and i'm gonna go to youtube because i'm pretty sure that youtube has it i've had older women who thought i wasn't being parented correctly slightly try to take advantage of me and not slightly have taken advantage right, of me. But you lost your virginity to two 30 year olds? Yeah. The same time? Yeah, two ugly, <laughs> horrible looking women. <laughs> and you See, and that's the thing, man. That's, there's just no words for it. It's not, it's sad, man. And a lot of times people think that it's just females that are going through this stuff as children. But males go through it too you know what i'm saying and i'm not gonna i'll put it this way a lot of times a lot of us who are in high school and stuff like that we joke about it about these cute teachers you know what i'm saying i'm like man i wish i had her as my teacher you know i'm guilty of that you know and wanting to sleep with a teacher because it was just a thing but really not realizing that we're normalizing behavior that's not normal you know wanting to sleep with somebody who's well older than you and your child and not realizing that's molestation because we want to feel how we feel to make us feel good and that's just not a healthy thing so let me keep playing the video you were uh, uh what was i you were how old 11 11 going to 12 i had no hair on me right i had no i remember i remember not having and and it was disgusting. And to this day, it's difficult for women to get me to go down. It's difficult. The girls that have had it, um, you're welcome. But it's hard. <laughs> it's hard for me. It's hard for me to go down, man. Because I'm like, I remember what it was like down there. It was like, <laughs> it was like a scary jungle. <laughs> it was a terrible place to be. It was a terrible place to be, and they were like taking turns. I was up for. I was just happy to be up, and uh, it made my it made my Kool Aid taste different for a long time. <laughs> I mean, we laugh about this. I but know, but because I'm a boy, I know it's, it's different, right. and we like we should know. Uh, we need to just pay more attention to what happens. But I don't know, man. I don't. I don't want to. Uh, I'm not definitely not taking the Harvey side or nobody's side. I just want to know. Like, when do you say something and when do you flirt and what to what, what is drawn? Do you not say anything no more when somebody's attractive to you if you're on set? Do you not? Because we know what harassment is. Harassment is talking about anybody's weight or talking about, hey, you lost weight. Oh, you look nice today. Any of that see, taken by the wrong person could be implied as harassment. And I just want to know, like, I mean, because what they talk about is the extremities. Rape. Um, yeah. I just like literally had this conversation at an exec's office the other day and it was like just trying to just talk about stuff and, and it's a bad thing over there. Yeah. That's the unfortunate part about Hollywood and the music industry. You know, they it's people that know people take advantage of people and some of these people who are execs, you know, they control people because people really want something, you know, they don't want to be out where they used to be you know some people are really struggling and it's about how much you can do in order to get to where you really want to be which is at the top and a lot of these people like a harvey weinstein took advantage of that so it's no surprise but that's not really what i want to deal with i want to deal with molestation with boys you know what i mean i mean molestation with girls happens all the time but a lot of times the situation with males and the abuse of males goes unchecked and it's more silent like where can you really go to talk about these things you know a lot of times we um stay silent about what goes on in our lives as males and how it affects us and we don't even know that we project 
some of this inner tra trauma that we go through on uh, to the people who we love you know and i have a question though you know that photo that we saw with um d-ray what if his trauma what if his child trauma actually end up manifesting itself into adulthood like for instance you know that picture with polygamy because there was more photos of men who actually were polygamous i saw d-ray with two women right which are obviously obviously is his women but he stated the fact that he was molested by two women that were in their 30s they took advantage they did the oh we're we're gonna help you type with jada pinkett smith situation how she was supposedly taking uh uh siding with august alcina making sure he's taken care of you know i just feel like maybe he might have i don't know maybe it's his personal belief i don't know him like that but he does have two women and it's just coincidence or ironic that two women molested him and he has two women to this day so i'm just saying it's i don't know if it's childhood trauma whatever he wants but a lot of these children who are molested by people specifically males when they're little who are molested by whether it be female or male you know they don't really talk about it as much i remember um i was in eighth grade ninth grade ninth grade freshman year of high school and this new kid he moved to um fort gibson or whatever oklahoma and his parents had this restaurant which i think they still do to this day but i'm not sure i haven't been to oklahoma in a minute years so anyway long story short we walk home every day and finally you know he tells me hey you know my sister molested me and blah 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 fast forward years later right I see this dude's Facebook, man. He's wearing like this um, feminine dress. He's wearing like this weird looking clothes. I'm assuming he's homosexual now, but as kids growing up being 13, 14 years old, it never occurred to me that he was living this type of lifestyle or he was that way. He didn't seem that way when we were teenagers, you know? And it's just weird, the maturation process of what goes on in the psyche of people you know what i mean it's just weird like a lot of these females that you see a lot of times a lot of them um who have been sexually abused some of some of them are promiscuous some end up being homosexual i mean it just is what it is some of them end up hating the way they look you know because of what happened to them as children i even had like an experience where i was gonna date this girl but nah it just didn't work out we we weren't compatible like that but anyway, she actually was white, Caucasian, and she said a, a relative of hers um, molested her as a child. And every time she thought about a white man being on top of her, she thought about that moment that happened to her as a child when she was molested by the relative. So I found that interesting. And some people just are traumatized tremendously, man. Some people want to commit suicide. It's just one of those issues where a lot of people just don't talk about it because it's i don't know if it's taboo or they're afraid what happened to them or what but a lot of this stuff goes unchecked you know what i mean it's crazy even in the music industry i know some of y'all remember the situation with b2k raz b talking about what happened to him and then he was talking to another uh childhood singer i think his name was quentin or something like that and he was talking about what chris stokes did to him and I guess I'll play a little clip because I'm pretty sure y'all will get the pick. Okay, you guys, so let's get into this video uh, where Rasby's talking about, and he's talking to Quentin, if I make a mistake, uh, a young singer back in, back in like the 90s or something like that. So let's go. I laid there on the floor. Yeah. 
fuck me, my nigga. With Chris laying on the bed, watching with the big ass polo, teddy bear, and the big ass pillow on the bed. Fucking me. And watching. So there you have it with the B2K situation, except that was Quentin. I forgot his last name. I can't remember it, but he was a singer growing up. Um, and even before he died, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think he died in like a car accident or something like that. But even before he died, like you could tell he was kind of, you know what I mean? Kind of on that side, like the homosexual looking, you know, and that's the stuff that we're talking about. People were traumatized as children and everything goes silent. You know, it's like, where are these people's parents? And I don't know, man. Money is a powerful thing sometimes. But yeah. So let's look at some statistics about uh, molestation and what to do about it. Because people, it's the more it goes unheard, the more people can suffer. And that's what we don't want. And on this channel, watch talk and act we always want to create solutions so let's see what we can do about this and let's let's talk about it and see the statistics so if you're a teenager and you just happen to be watching this channel um a number you can call for molestation sexual assault anything like that 1-800-656-HOPE or 4673 so that is a solution you can have somebody to talk to and things like that because there's a lot of trauma people have to unpack and we're always looking for solutions on this channel so but let's go into other things such as statistics because this is very interesting so check you guys says every nine minutes child protective services substances or um substantiates or finds evidence for the claim of child sexual abuse says of all victims under 18 two out of three are ages 12 through 17 34 percent under age 12 and 66 percent age 12 to 17 let's go further down it says in fy 16 alone child protective services agents substantiated a found strong evidence to indicate that 57,329 children were victims of sexual abuse it said one in nine girls and I should say one in nine girls and one in 53 boys under the age of 18 experience sexual abuse or assault at the hands of an adult. 82% of all victims under 18 are female. Females ages 16 through 19 are four times more than the general population to become victims of rape, attempted rape, or sexual assault. Which is no surprise. I mean, it's pretty sad. Check this out though. Go further down. It says perpetrators of child sexual abuse are often related to the victim it says child victims often know the perpetrator among cases of child sexual abuse reported to law enforcement 93 percent are known to the victim seven percent are strangers 59 percent are acquaintances and 34 percent are family members and guys for that, for that being family members that's just uncomfortable and a little too high it shouldn't happen in the first place but yeah so when it comes to you being traumatized by molestation, don't go to a person like this. Get some real help. Seek a real therapist who can really give you answers, or should I say, really listen to you and your issues. I don't know if therapists really help you necessarily to give you the answers that you need, but they were they are there to listen to you if you need to be able to cope and um, just get through life easier than what you're going through at this time because it can be difficult this stuff is very traumatizing and is very sad and i just hate that for a lot of people and i really do want people to get help you need to see a psychiatrist even that um myself personally i want to try to go to a therapist but not for this issue i want to see if therapy really works because i feel like if somebody can give me a different perspective on life then I'll see what it does for me. But if this person can't, then there's no point because I'm not just going to go to a therapist in order to just be 
talking, conversing back and forth. You don't have solutions for me. I don't see the point in going when I can figure out the solutions for myself. So without you guys, um, take care of yourself. You've been listed. I apologize. And I hope that doesn't happen to your offspring as well. And uh, watch Talk and Act and don't just act people. Create solutions. <laughs>